Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to GNR Central. And I did a video a little while back about Slash talking about hipsters wearing band shirts, but I found a clip of Axel talking about it too that you guys may have missed. So I want to talk a bit about that today. Now, this is a trend that you guys have probably seen in like every single, you know, clothing store you go to, whether it's for men or women. And uh, I have a lot of band shirts, but I'm actually a genuine fan of those bands. I remember, I think somebody sent me a message once saying, you're not a genuine fan of the band unless you can name the bassist in the band. Or if you can probably name a bunch of their songs or deeper cuts. So here's what Axel had to say about it when asked in 2016 during an interview on China Exchange. So, as like a young person myself, I usually see a lot of people with uh, Guns N' Roses tops and that, and like, I've been up to a few people and I'm like, have you actually even heard that music? And a lot of people haven't even like, heard of the band themselves, so I just wanted like, your thoughts on that, because I see it all the time with uh, Nirvana and stuff like that, like people wear tops even though they don't really listen to the band. And Victoria's Secret models and ACDC yeah, yeah. shirts. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure, but, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like when they like to sleep in Guns N' Roses shirts. <laughs> but, you know, the promotion's good. I mean, you're not going to, people, if they think it's cool, so it's better to be, than think it's cool than hate it, I guess. All right, cool. okay. I think I always wanted to ask you is, what do you think about all the teenagers wearing uh, t-shirts with the bands, not even knowing the music? Is it okay for you? Are you okay I mean, with that? Or? You know, I mean, the funny one to me is all the kids that wear CBGB shirts. <laughs> they have no idea exactly. what CBGB is. Exactly. But I mean, you know, it, in a way, it's sort of carrying the torch. Mm -hmm. You know, people are wearing... Uh, it might be fashionable to mm -hmm. some, some sort of a statement, but in a way it keeps that brand alive. So, you know, it's cool. You can't get angry with people because they're wearing a, a t-shirt they think is, looks cool and have no idea what the band is that's on it. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> now, there's been one rock star who's been pretty outspoken about people wearing uh, band shirts, especially if you're not a rock fan, and that's Twisted Sisters singer Dee Snider. So this is from 2017, and according to the article, Snyder thinks it's a sign of disrespect for, from people who he doesn't really consider to be true metal fans. In a series of tweets, he condemned those he feels are not jacking more than just t-shirts, but the style and culture, noting that metal is not ironic. Now, it's a similar sentiment that was shared by the estate and mother of late Notorious B.I.G., who slammed Kendall and Kylie Jenner after the Celebutants debuted their modified images over rap and rock t-shirts. Snyder also expressed contempt for the Kardashians wearing band shirts, although he apparently is okay with Lady Gaga wearing them. He said on Twitter, Gotta say, this new trend of non-metal fans wearing vintage metal tees is pretty sickening. Metal is not ironic, dicks. He said, it's not just wearing of our metal tees, it's their cherry picking of our styles, skulls, metal horns. These are our symbols and our image. And then he went on to respond to somebody saying, but what if a Kardashian wears a, tea, a Twisted Sister shirt and it makes a fan curious and she goes out and listens to them, isn't that a good thing? To which D. Snyder said, and does it? At least Lady Gaga talks about being a fan of metal in interviews, is seen at concerts, does Kim and Kanye. Now, there was one fan who raised a pretty good point. Greg said, dude, we in the metal community should accept everyone. Sure, they're posers, but at least their fashion sense is getting better. And he's not the only musician who's come out against people wearing band shirts. St. Vincent wrote, I want to be the kind of asshole who sees a fashion kid in a vintage Metallica t-shirt and insists they be able to sing at least one song from Ride the Lightning. Like I alluded to earlier, Metallica found themselves on the end of Kylie and Kendall Jenner selling Metallica t-shirts without the band's permission. So James Hetfield spoke out in July of 2017 on the Keeping Up with the Kardashian stars misguided business adventure uh, around that time when they superimposed their faces over images of some of the most iconic images in music, including one of Metallica's Kill 'Em All album, and then put them on t-shirts with a selling price of $125 US. And Hetfield told Entertainment Tonight Canada, I guess what they were thinking is, we can do whatever we want. To me, it's disrespectful. We've spent 36 years working hard, doing our best to keep a really close connection with people and making every note count. And someone just basically throws something up over something that we feel, not that it's sacred or anything, but show some respect, he went on to say. Now, the shirts were released under Kendall and Kylie's apparel line and were quickly pulled from the retail website after widespread criticism from those represented, including the estate of late rapper The Notorious B.I.G., who filed a cease and desist motion against the reality show Sisters. Other artists misappropriated included The Doors, Pink Floyd, and Ozzy Osbourne. 
Ozzy's wife, Sharon Osbourne, fired off a tweet to the Jenners in the wake of the saga saying, Girls, you haven't earned the right to put your face with musical icons. Stick what you know, lip gloss. Now, following the backlash and removal of the t-shirts from their web store, Kendall and Kylie released a statement which apologized for their poor judgment. Now, you think these spoiled brats would probably have a lawyer who could tell them what they should and shouldn't do, or managers. So their statement read, These designs were not well thought out, and we deeply apologize to anyone who had been upset or offended, especially to the families of the artist, it read. We are huge fans of their music, I highly doubt they are, and it was not our intention to disrespect these cultural icons in any way. The t-shirts have been pulled from retail and all images have been removed. We will use this as an opportunity to learn from these mistakes, and again, we are so sorry. Now, one has to think that, okay, with all these fashion designers putting out band t-shirts, it's got to be a pretty profitable niche, and it definitely is. So there was a really good article written on The Guardian back in 2017 that interviewed some of these fashion designers and some of the people who are wearing these t-shirts, and they shed some light on, you know, why this trend has really taken over. So some of the stores they interviewed included Topshop, H&M, Premark, which I don't think is in Canada, and Forever 21. And they were talking about t-shirts for some of the more popular bands who've been selling really well, including ACDC, Metallica, The Rolling Stones, and Bon Jovi. So in the article, they interviewed Topshop's head of design, who said that ACDC is their best seller and that band t-shirts epitomize that cool, laid-back, and effortless look. They've become something of a wardrobe staple for the Top Shop girl. And this is backed up by shoppers around the Oxford Circus store in the UK on a weekday afternoon. In fact, they interviewed one girl who was 17 and from Lincolnshire, and she said she was wearing a Guns N' Roses t-shirt. She says she has heard of the band, but couldn't tell you any of their songs. She also had four band t-shirts, including an ACDC one. She said she liked them because they're part of a new era indie look, and that she would buy another one if it was on trend. They interviewed a 19-year-old who is in a Kiss sweatshirt from Premark, and she said she's listened to some of the music, but I also like the style and look of the logo, she said. Now, Kelly isn't a purist, though. She said, I don't think it matters if someone is wearing a band t-shirt, but doesn't know the band, she says. And what's interesting about the this fashion trend is that it seems to contrast with this whole new woke movement's impact on fashion. So even some of these like designers like John Vervedos are starting to make, make statements of causes that people care about on your t-shirts. That's a very 2017 thing, but I've started to see it creep up in 2019 as well. So there's some shirts that's uh, from Dior that say, we should all be feminist. There's uh, other shirts that say save the future, make a stand, female forever, choose love. You've probably seen them at all these different fashion stores. But what's also interesting about this whole band t-shirt trend is that it's a very generational thing. So people in their 20s kind of see them as fashion statements, but in the article they say chances are if you're in your 30s like me, uh, or you're older, you're more likely to view one as a statement of identity, like wearing a football jersey that you're, you know, of a team you're a fan of. So the author said, I'm 39 and I have six band t-shirts, all for bands or musicians that I love, including Prince, the B-52s, um, the Hot Chip, and yes, New Kids on the Block. I tried and failed to buy a Frank Ocean t-shirt at his recent Lovebox gig. I'm also proud owner of Beyonce's I Got Hot Sauce and my bag tote bag. The idea of wearing something with the image of, say, Phil Collins or Green Day or Lord, none of whom have ever featured on my Spotify account, for purely aesthetic reasons is an alien concept. No judgment, but I would feel like I was faking it and I work in fashion. And I kind of feel the same way. Like, if I was to wear a band, uh, a band tee of, say, a band like the Grateful Dead, who I don't really care much for, I feel like it would be inauthentic and faking it. I feel the same way. Now, they interviewed a guy named Steve Birnbaum. He's 35, and he sees both sides. So he's a documentary filmmaker. He set up a band of shirts, which is an Instagram account documenting people who wear band t-shirts in New York. And it's been around for about four years, and he has captions telling the stories behind their t-shirts. He says he encounters more and more young people wearing t-shirts, but they're not a fan of the band that, whose t-shirt they're wearing. He said, I don't censor what they say, and they sometimes feel bad. They get abuse online for wearing the shirt. He says he understands why some people feel so strongly because music is so personal. So if someone doesn't know the reference, it feels like it disrespect. It feels like it's disrespectful to you. He says, if someone is wearing a punk T-shirt but knows nothing about the Misfits, it comes down to being a poser. Some people have punk as their lifestyle. No wonder they're angry. So that does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. I should really go through all my band tees. I've shown you guys a video of all my Guns and Roses tees. But uh, let me know what your, some of your favorite band tees and maybe the story behind it. I think my favorite one is, it's strangely enough, I have a lot of Guns N' Roses ones, but I've, I think I've got like 10 or 12 Guns N' Roses t-shirts. But I think my favorite one that I probably have and that I wear a lot is my Ramones tee. 
Um, and I, I, of course, like, you know, being in my 30s, I wasn't around when the Ramones were playing back in the 70s or so. But uh, I think that's probably one of my favorite tees that I do wear a lot. Um, uh, just because, you know, I discovered their music, like, probably when I was 20 or so. And then I really got into the Ramones. But let me know your guys' thoughts. Thanks for watching, guys. And let me know your whole thought on this fashion trend. It's kind of funny if you go to some of these, like, higher-end fashion stores and look at how much they're charging for some of the band tees like i've seen guns and roses shirts for several hundred dollars which you could have probably bought back in the day for like 15 bucks or even get off of like another website probably looks the exact same for a lot cheaper of course the material is probably not as good but um you know to pay 500 dollars or 400 dollars for a guns and roses shirt it's kind of insane to me but let me know your thoughts down below guys hit the like button and be sure to subscribe and go check us out at gnrcentral.com for the latest guns and roses news ticker